Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, But you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We welcome your calls here on the Bright Side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story, if you want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is your number. If you've heard something, read something, somebody told you something about ingredients or formulations or skincare, we've been talking skincare now for a couple months. We'll continue talking skincare as it relates to the whole body, of course. If you have questions about ingredients or products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, if you want to help your fellow man and help change lives at the most fundamental levels, which is what health is about, the most fundamental level of our being involves our health. And if you want to help change people's lives at that level via nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies, please call the Brightside Ben phone team and tell them you want to join the team. You want to start yourself a longevity business for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business. You can earn yourself thank you checks, and you can help change lives. You can also get your products at the wholesale price, of course, and join a culture of health and wellness, which is what longevity is all about. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Or you can head over to my website, it's brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com, and sign up right off the website or order products right off the website. You can also go to my blog, pharmacistben.com, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. Okay, thank you so much for joining us on the Bright Side. Once again, we're talking about one of my all-time favorite molecules in the body, one of my all-time favorite ingredients in skincare, one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements, high aluronic acid. Now, we've been emphasizing high aluronic acid, or HA, in the skin, but lest we be misleading or remiss, it's important to recognize that HA, high aluronic acid, is absolutely fundamental for wellness and anti-aging and and building the body and the electrical nature of the body, hyaluronic acid via its ability to trap water, is very important for helping the body conduct electricity. At the end of the day, the body is an electrical system, not a chemical system. The chemistry of nutritional supplementation, the chemistry of food, the chemistry of vitamins, and the chemistry of minerals really is secondary to the electrical nature of food and the electrical nature of vitamins and minerals and the electrical nature of supplements and the electrical nature of hyaluronic acid and substances like hyaluronic acid. They're all electrical and by ingesting hyaluronic acid, helping your body build hyaluronic acid, you're upregulating, you're stimulating electricity in the body. Aging is an electrical phenomena. Cancer is an electrical phenomena. Breakdown is an electrical phenomena. And at the end of the day, the chemistry of nutritional supplementation is important because it supports electricity bodily, biological electricity. This is why the brain is so dependent on hyaluronic acid. The brain, of course, is a super electrical system, one of the most complicated. No, it is the most complicated electrical system in the universe 
according to biologists anyway. Nerve cells depend on HA. Alzheimer's disease is now the leading, is the sixth leading cause of death. By the way, did you know women are twice as likely to die from Alzheimer's disease and twice as likely to get Alzheimer's, it's Alzheimer's disease than men? Women are also much more likely to get autoimmune disease than men. All this probably has something to do with estrogen, which is an inflammatory substance. Anyway, I digress. Some of hyaluronic acid's protective effects for dementia involve its ability to protect us from sugar. Yes, hyaluronic acid is anti-glycation. I blogged about glycation. Uh, actually, I will be blogging about glycation. I, I wrote an article about glycation, and it should show up on my blog here uh, today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, glycation is sugaring, caramelization, and it's one of the things that happens to diabetics or anybody who's got messed up blood sugar. And you don't have to be a full-fledged diabetic to have messed up blood sugar. Diabetes is basically a diagnosis that's made when you reach a threshold point, a critical mass level. But you can have messed up blood sugar for years before you're officially a diabetic. And one of the problems with messed up blood sugar is the reaction that blood sugar, that sugar has with various parts of the body. Well, as it turns out, hyaluronic acid is protective against sugaring, caramelization, or glycation, if you prefer. And using hyaluronic acid supplements or helping your body build hyaluronic acid is a wonderful anti-diabetes strategy. And that might be why hyaluronic acid is protective against Alzheimer's disease and various dementias. Alzheimer's disease is now called type 3 diabetes. Yes, AD, Alzheimer's disease. Dementias in general are a type of diabetes. Surprise, surprise. If you've been listening to The Bright Side for any length of time, you know it's no surprise to me or no surprise to us here on The Bright Side because we talk about blood sugar as or dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar as being a fundamental cause of all disease. You don't have to wait for the medical model to officially crown your disease state as a type of diabetes. All degenerative disease is a type or at least a symptom of dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar. Now it's official, of course, because the doctors and the medical model have made it official. AD, Alzheimer's disease, is a type of diabetes and hyaluronic acid can be protective against all diabetes, all blood sugar problems, including dementias and Alzheimer's disease. Hyaluronic acid is also important for the health of the lungs, for the health of the kidneys, for the same reason. It protects against sugaring, protects against caramelization. If you have messed up blood sugar, and one out of three Americans do, you might want to think about supplementing with hyaluronic acid or your glucogel caps or any of the other strategies we have talked about and will talk about for building this super duper important molecule. And then, of course, hyaluronic acid can be thought of as a, a type of molecular rivet for stabilizing connective tissue. Connective tissue is the, is the solidity of the body. It's the, part that pulls, it's the part of the body that holds everything together. Connective tissue connects everything. Connective tissue makes up a third of the body's dry weight. It provides a framework for the other 70% or so of the body's form. The signs of, of aging, the visible signs of aging in the skin, as well as the not-so-visible signs of aging in the inner structure of the body are in large part due to a shriveling and weakening of connective tissue, a breakdown of connective tissue. Osteoporosis is the classic example of a dissolution of connective tissue, and the most there are a lot of really idiotic, ridiculous strategies. I mean, really ridiculous strategies that the medical model has for helping protect our health and uh, supposedly our health. Medicine is not health. And we really got to get this through our heads that medicine and health are two different ideas. Medicalization of health does not serve us, especially when it comes to connective tissue diseases. And nothing is more exemplary or nothing exemplifies the silliness of the medical model when it comes to taking care of our health and the idea that you can drug your way to building connective tissue, so-called bisphosphonate drugs, among the most deadly and toxic of all medications, whether we're talking about Fosamax or Boniva or Actinel, or whatever your flavor, your flavor or your favorite bisphosphonate drug is, there's no friggin' way any of these drugs are going to help you build connective tissue. What they do is they poison the cleanup system. One of the things that happens to the uh, one of the things that happens in the body is the body cleans up old bone, cleans up old connective tissue. It's like a cleanup crew. These enzymes that break down and remove old connective tissue, well, the drugs, how do they work? They poison the cleanup crew. Uh, anyway, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Yeah. 
right, we are back on the bright side. Got lots of people who want to talk to us at 844-236-6010. So we'll get your calls here in uh, just a couple minutes. We'll get to it, uh, get your calls here in our second segment. So hang tight. I want to, so much to talk about here. I don't, never finish what I want to say. That's okay, because tomorrow is always another day. There's always another day on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com. Thank you, Robert Lundgren, for doing such a fine job at pharmacistben.com. You can also check out criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to John T. Collier for setting that one up. And also brightsideben.com. And by the way, if you're interested in purchasing any of my new skin health products, you can go over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Some of you guys know I've been in the skincare business for 32 years, since 1983. That's when I formulated my first skincare product when I worked for Blistex. That's kind of a cool story. I'll tell you one of these days how I got involved with the Blistex Corporation. But anyway, if you're interested in uh, checking out my skincare, skin health products, not skincare, skin health products, go over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking hyaluronic acid, connective tissue. Hyaluronic acid is kind of like a rivet for the structure of the body. It's a stabilizing substance for the body as hyaluronic acid levels start to shrink, as our production of hyaluronic acid starts to slow down over the course of time as we age. The body shrivels up. That means building hyaluronic acid and building connective tissue in general is a major, 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 if not the major anti-aging strategy. The best, the most important way that we can keep ourselves healthy and young and youthful and vital in appearance as well as the internal nature is by supplementing with hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid supporting substances. Now, you know, we talk about bone soup on this program all the time. One of the major benefits of bone soup is that you get hyaluronic acid right in the soup, right in the liquid. If you use real chicken bones, the hyaluronic acid and the cartilage will dissolve right in the water and you'll have yourself a nice hyaluronic acid drink. I'm telling you guys, bone soup is amazing, amazing stuff. Take your chicken, drop it in the pot. I use a whole foods chicken. Make sure it's an organic chicken or a uh, hormone and a hormone free chicken. You don't want to have those hormones and antibiotics in your soup. You'll be drinking a high al- you'll be drinking a, a toxic brew if you do that. So make sure you use an organic chicken or a, and a hormone free chicken, antibiotic free chicken. Drop it in a pot of water. If you use a, a one of those rotisserie chickens that you get from Whole Foods, you'll shorten your cooking time, and you'll also have a nice spiced chicken. You can do it with a fresh chicken if you like, and turn it into soup. Throw in some veggies at the end, and then just, you can stick the stuff in the freezer if you want, in ice cube trays, and make a cup of soup as you desire. Just drop it in a little, in a pot or, or in the microwave, or you can just carry it with you in the thermos to work or, or wherever you go. It's great for older folks, helps build their bones, and helps build their connective tissue. And as we've been talking earlier, it's also bone soup, that is, via its high hyaluronic acid content, it's also important for the brain and the nervous system. And of course, it's also wonderful liquid protein. Topically, retinol, fatty vitamin C, alpha hydroxy acids, using exfoliation techniques. We're going to talk about this here in the next few days. Exfoliation techniques at home or having chemical peels done at an esthetician's office. All of this, all of these are ways that you can upregulate hyaluronic acid in the skin to keep wrinkles at bay. As I said earlier, connective tissue building, whether it's in the skin or whether it's inside the body, is not just for structure, it's also for electricity. The bones, the teeth, collagen, even the blood are all electrical systems. Yes, the blood is connective tissue and it's an electrical system. One of the problems with the crappy foods that we eat and our lousy diets and our messed up digestive systems is the stuff that we eat eventually makes it into the blood. The blood gets dirty and the electrical energy of the blood becomes compromised. When the movement of the blood slows down, when the blood clots, when the blood coagulates, the electrical nature of the blood is affected negatively. All this has to do with diet and food. Do you guys get how powerful we are when it comes to our health? None of this involves a doctor. None of this involves the medical model. None of this involves drugs. None of this involves surgery. There is no connection, none, between health and wellness and youth and vitality and anything your doctor can do. Is the doctor important for, for, uh, uh, for emergencies, for trauma? For heroic medicine, yes, of course. 
Thank God we have surgeons who can stitch things back up. Thank God we have antibiotics so we don't drop dead of a, of a cold or a respiratory infection or tuberculosis or bacteria the way we did 150 years ago. Praise God that we have a medical model when it comes to emergencies and heroic care. But as far as health and wellness and anti-aging and staying young and staying vital and keeping our skin great and looking good, none of this involves a doctor. And how dare a doctor stick his nose under the tent of our health and tell us that we got to be medicalized and pharmacalized and diagnosticized, that's a word, into being healthy. To build connective tissue from a nutritional standpoint, drink your bone soup. Make sure you're getting enough protein. And make sure you're getting enough essential fats. There's a very important relationship between bone building and connective tissue building and your ultimate essential fatty acids. Yes, EFAs, fats, are very important for building connective tissue. And of course, GAGs, GAGs, like hyaluronic acid. GAGs are a family of compounds. Hyaluronic acid is a member of the GAG family. Glucose aminoglycans, that's what the GAGs stand for. We'll just call them GAGs. These GAGs are an entire family of compounds of which glucosamine is one. Yes, glucosamine is a very important precursor to hyaluronic acid. In fact, hyaluronic acid is partially made up of glucosamine. So by using your glucogel caps, boom, you're going to upregulate your hyaluronic acid. Same with the Fucoid Z and the Z radical. Two wonderful supplements, wonderful all around supplements. Why are they all around supplements important for blood and the immune system, and the structural components of the body and the digestive system and the bone and brain health, etc.? Why is the Fucoid Z and the Z radical important for all of these different parts of the body? Because of its involvement with connective tissue, because of its involvement with substances like hyaluronic acid. And of course, your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are also a must. Other supplements that are vital for anti-wrinkle and anti-aging and bone building and brain health via this, and skin health for, via this hyaluronic acid and connective tissue connection, if you will, vitamin C. Silica, I love silica, liquid silica gel. You know, silica is the most abundant solid substance on the planet. Sand is silica, glass is silica. Silica is majorly structural, it's found in seeds. The outer parts of seeds. It's found in certain vegetables, but you can supplement with silica, liquid silica gel. You can go to a pharmacist and get silica powder. That's what I do. I buy silica powder. And I put some in my in a in water with a little vitamin C and beyond tangy tangerine. I, I make myself a silica drink. Highly electrical. Super important for building connective tissue. If you don't want to mess around with making your own silica silica drink, you can buy something called liquid silica gel. Of course, you can also eat seeds and and veggies to get your silica. Horsetail is a particularly good source of silica. Liquid fats are important, essential fatty acids, liquid protein from bone soup and egg and whey is also very important for helping build connective tissue. Eggs are particularly skin friendly food and eggs will also get you important essential fatty acids. Eggs will also get you vitamin A and zinc, two critically important nutrients for skin health. Zinc is maybe the skin, it probably is the skin's most important mineral and you'll get zinc in your eggs. And uh, uh, vitamin A is the skin's most important vitamin, and you'll get vitamin A in your eggs too. So probably eggs, a case could be made for eggs being the skin's favorite food. Magnesium also is found in eggs, and magnesium is also important for skin health. And then there's a whole digestive health connection to keeping your skin young and beautiful and your connective tissue strong and vital. We'll, uh, we'll continue this discussion. Take your phone calls as well, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back. We're back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll continue talking about HA and connective tissue building. We'll talk about the digestive system because you can't really build connective tissue without a healthy, intact digestive system. Some of these nutrients, uh, these nutrients are very important in terms of their, uh, or getting these nutrients into your body really involves digestion and absorption. Not only that, but the digestive tract itself is made up of connective tissue which is why using your glucogel caps and your Fucoid Z and vitamin C and silica gel and bone soup and all the, all the connective tissue building strategies we talk about here on the Bright Side are also very important for digestive health. And because leaky gut syndrome, when the connective tissue in the digestive system breaks down, is really, is really the cause of much, if not all, degenerative disease, building connective tissue by its ability to help strengthen the digestive tract and prevent leaky gut syndrome can have a positive effect, can have a beneficial effect on 
every single degenerative disease there is uh, via this uh, via connective tissue building in the digestive tract. Um, there's just so much to talk about here. We'll continue our discussion tomorrow on connective tissue in the digestive system, and we'll talk about skin health. We'll talk about exfoliation here. We'll do all this in the coming days. Uh, ways that you can exercise your skin. I call exfoliation exercise, uh, exercising the skin. Anyway, that'll all be tomorrow and in the coming days. On the bright side, time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Truth Raider, where you been, buddy? Welcome. Well, he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can deny. What's hey, going folks on? Out there, Farmers has been such a wonderful guy. Please do listen to his shows, archive his shows, take down notes on every key piece of information it gives you because it's all true. And he's a great guy. Thank you, know, you Personally, Paul. he's wonderful. But Thank as for myself, well, I'm just some disorganized, some contained. Now, what's going on, Carl? How can I help you, my man? <laughs> do you got anything going on? I'm on the road, on? folks. For oh, all you're on the road? Out there who are familiar. Some of us slipped through the cracks. Carl, what's and, up, buddy? Uh, all my efforts have uh, kind of uh, gone awry as far as getting successful home status and, and so, <laughs> so on and so forth. So within three days, I don't know where I'm going to be. Carl, Carl, you got to call me personally. That's that. Those are personal things. Hey, uh, give me a call when you get a chance, Carl. I'm going to let you go. I've been trying to call you too, by the way. Your phone isn't working, or you maybe you don't have one. So give me a shout, Carl, when you get a chance, and we'll let you go. That's Carl Truthrader, my friend and listener. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. Give me a call uh, when you get a chance. All right, let's go to uh, Pam in California. What's going on, Pam? Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, hi, Ben. I'm so glad to talk to you. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's up? Well, I've been listening to you for a long time, and I've been aware of a lot of what you've been talking about for a long time. Nowhere near what you know, but anyway... Um, well, are you a I'm professional? Calling. Are you a health or skin or professional? No, or? but I... I <laughs> but you have skin and you have health. I, I've been reading this stuff. I, I listened to Dr. Wallach when he first, you know, came on the radio, and then I started collecting alternative manuals and books on health, and so I'm well aware, and I have got some horror stories about the mainstream medical um, profession, which I don't want to regale you with at this time. One, my mother um, had psoriasis for many years, and it turned out it was a corn allergy. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, and I can I, see that. Oh, she had huge corn, is, corn, by the way, has a lot of gluten in it. People don't oh, realize it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but she had huge plaques on her elbows and on her uh, on her shin bones. And, um, you know, and, and one of the most terrible stories is when this was when she was like 30-some years old. We went to a doctor, and this doctor thought it was a tumor on her elbow and literally removed the psoriasis thinking it was a tumor. <laughs> Luckily, she had a doctor. Oh, my God. It's a good thing we have doctors and dermatologists to help us with our psoriasis. So he cured the psoriasis, right? Yeah, it was psoriasis that, she, that he, they did thought. Did he cure it? it? The doctor cured it, right? Yeah, he sure did, but it came back. <laughs> oh, it came back. Oh, my goodness. So what's going on? How can we help you, Pam? Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm 69 years old, and, okay. and I've been doing a lot of this stuff for years. Lots of vitamin C, lots of everything. And for my age, I have very, very few wrinkles and lines, maybe a few line, you know, light lines. But um, I, And I did buy one of your products, and I talked to one of your lovely... Which, pro um, which product did you buy? The, the retinol gel. Oh, you did? Have you been using it? Mm-hmm. And, and I must say, um, I, I, I do notice a change very That's very the, quickly. I know Very nice. Very nice. How are you using it? How are, that, you went to truthtreatments.com and you got the retinol gel. Well, I'm not online, so I tracked down a phone number for okay. um, uh, Sunitas, and I spoke to Oh, her. no, that's a different one. I'm not, I sold Sunitas. Well, but she sent me yours. She did? Yeah. She sent you truthtreatments.com, the gel? Yep, she sent me the gel. Her name, her name was Cynthia. Oh, really? Oh, how awesome is that? Okay, so you've been using my new Truth, the, the Truth Treatments Retinol Gel, right? Right, only for about two weeks. Okay. And um, it, it, uh, I got a, a light peel, but Very it, wasn't, nice. it wasn't irritating. And, it's not uh, irritating. It's 5% retinol, too, Pam. You're not going to find that anywhere else. No, no, I know, I know. And, and, I, and I've read labels up one end and down the other. Like, I've been a label reader on foods, on cosmetics. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> so you saw the vitamin C's in the retinol gel. It's 25% vitamin C in yeah. addition to 5%. Good for you. Well, you're, How can we help you today? You got any questions well, or anything? Well, um, because of my age, and I know you can't hold back the hands of time forever and ever, but um, this lady I spoke with, because she, she, we got into a discussion between... 
about the difference between collagen and elastin. Well, and that's I ha- the, yeah, well, I have some sagging along my jawline, not a whole lot, but I've got some sagging because of my age. And everything I've done, the vitamin C and this and that. Still, um, you still got the sagging. Yeah, and I wanted okay. to ask you about the facial exercises helping that, whether yes. you think that would help. Absolutely, it helps. Uh, facial exercises, there's two kinds of facial or skin exercises. Mm-hmm. And thanks for your call, Pam. I'm going to let you go. But, and thank you for the kind words as well. In fact, if you send me an email to truth.treatments at gmail.com, I'll send you out a little freebie, a freebie omega-6 healing cream to go with your retinol. Truth.treatments at gmail.com. Make sure you put Pam from the radio, and then I'm going to let you go, okay? Thank thanks. you. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. Uh, yeah, so first of all, collagen, and uh, there's a second, there's a lot of different connective tissue proteins we talk about collagen all the time, but elastin is one also. For the most part, though, there's small amounts of elastin. For the most part, the vast majority of connective tissue is collagen. Yes, indeed. You can do muscular exercises to develop collagen and elastin, moving your face certain ways and holding it. Those are called facial exercises. You can YouTube those. And then there's the topical the superficial exercises, which we're going to talk about in the coming days, those will also increase the production of collagen and elastin in the skin. And that's basically exfoliation. Retinol will do it, and you can use my retinol gel to do it, 5% retinol gel at Truth Treatments at uh, truth.treatments. I'm sorry, truthtreatments.com, www.truthtreatments.com. You can find out all about it there. You can also use alpha hydroxy acids, and I, I do recommend people get peels once a month or so from an esthetician. Uh, using glycolic acid or lactic acid and then following it up with vitamin C in order to topically stimulate the production of collagen and elastin. So there's two ways to do it, by facial exercises, holding your face in certain ways uh, and then contracting and relaxing the facial muscles. That can do it. And then topically or superficially using retinol, uh, truthtreatments.com. You can get retinol gel there or also... uh, Also, uh, exfoliation via chemical peels can stimulate collagen and elastin and hyaluronic acid and moisture factors and pretty much everything. So there's two ways to do your facial exercises, the physical way by holding your muscles in certain ways and contracting and relaxing. You can YouTube those. And then topically, superficially, doing peels with retinol, gel, truthtreatments.com, or going to an esthetician and having glycolic and lactic acid peels done regularly once a month or so. All right, hang tight. Got more calls to get to. Uh, Chuck, Todd, Tony, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open for you. 844-236-6010. Tony in Florida, what's cooking? Good morning. How are you today? Doing good, buddy. How can we help you, man? All right, let me give you a synopsis of what's been going on with me in the past eight days. Okay. On Father's Day, uh, on Father's Day morning, I, I woke up at about 7 a.m., and uh, when I tried to stand up, uh, the room was spinning. I was dead. Okay. So eventually, never happened before? First time that ever happened? First time ever. Okay. So eventually, I ended up having to call an ambulance wow. uh, out of fear. I, I was afraid to, to try to stand up because the room continued to spin. Were you nauseous? Uh, a little bit of nausea, yes. Okay. Uh, so tell me, what did they so, do? What did they do when you got to the ER? They, they ran some uh, blood tests and other tests, um, checked me out, and the diagnosis that they came back with was vertigo. Well, vertigo is not really, you know, it's a diagnosis, but it just tell it, vertigo means spinning. So big right. deal. So you went to the emergency room and said, oh, you're spinning. You have spinning. That's a, that's a stupidity of diagnosis. Did you need the doctor to tell you you have spinning? <laughs> I hope you didn't. I hope you didn't pay for it. You know, that's what uh, that's what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm joking. I'm teasing you. But do you realize that's what happened? You went to the doctor and he, he said, oh, yes, you have spinning. What, right. what the heck is that about? That doesn't help you. So he gave you high hydrolysis, or I forgot what they give you for it. Some kind of antihistamine he type of drug. Meclizine. Meclizine. Right. right. Meclizine is an antihistamine. You could have gone and gotten some Benadryl, and you'd have to waste your time or your money. That's the stupidity but of the I model. I, I, I haven't the, taken it. And what he explained to me, he said there are three rings in the inner ear, and there's fluid that goes around. And right. That's I correct. Have some, so, he said I have some sort of. 
calcium or protein. Well, okay, is- bingo. Now you got. Now you're talking here. You got. This is the problem here. The blood, the fluid, I should say, in the head is starting to clog up, and that usually involves an inflammatory process. Inflammation, and listen up, Tony. I'm, I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to everybody, but listen up, Tony. This is so important, all right? Vertigo, dizziness, Meniere's disease, all of these things, vestibular migraines, all, even epilepsy, all of these things involve fluid in the head that is not moving as it should. It's kind of like what happens in the blood when the blood gets clogged up. All of this is following inflammation. Inflammation means defense. Okay, you want to think of the body as a military kind of, uh, with a, use, use a military metaphor to think about what's happening in the body. Your defenses are up. The defense department is up. Now, if you have a defensive response, what's the one question you need to ask? What is offending the body? What's getting into the body that's, that's up? alerting the defensive response or causing or sparking up this defensive response. Now, things don't get into the body randomly. There's only three major pathways that they get into the body. When I say into the body, I mean into the blood. They go through the skin, they go through the nose, or they go through the mouth. Well, the skin occasionally, if you're an IV drug user, you know, or you've got a major burn, or maybe if you had a vaccine or something like that, uh, assuming that didn't happen because all of a, you said you woke up that way, Secondly, it could be through the nose. You could be breathing mold or funguses, or if you're working a nuclear power plant or a coal mine or something, you could be breathing in toxins. That happens occasionally, but not that often. By far and away, the most likely suspect is going to be foods and a breakdown in the gut. So what you got to do is you got to look for digestive symptoms. And I'm going to tell you, Tony, I'm, I'm, I'm pharmacist Ben. I'm not psychic Ben. I'm pharmacist Ben. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a psychic reading on the radio. There's something going on in your digestive system. All right? How old are you, brother? 40. Okay. So it makes sense because right around the time, right around the age of 40, or maybe even a little earlier, things that you didn't notice before are going to reach a critical mass. They're going to be like the straw that breaks the camel's back. You're going to reach a threshold point. At the age of 40, it's not uncommon for this threshold point to reach to be reached. Stuff is building up, building up, building up. And then one day you wake up and you go, "Oh my God, I'm dizzy. I got vertigo. What happened? It must have been something that just happened." No, it was a buildup of something that happened, and all of a sudden the straw breaks the camel's back. It's not that last straw that breaks the camel's back. It's the straws that have been piling up on the camel's back over the course of time. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, again, I'm not a psychic. I'm a pharmacist. But I'm telling you, this is how the body breaks down. Look for digestive symptomology, food allergies, food intolerances, constipation, diarrhea, bloating. These are all very important clues for you. The vertigo is a symptom. The vertigo is a leaf on the tree. It's not the trunk and it's not the root. And you can't take care of the leaf on the tree without taking care first of the root and the trunk. And once you take care of the root and the trunk, you don't have to worry about the leaf. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So get yourself a food diary. Start doing a food, uh, keeping track of everything you're eating and how you feel from a digestive system perspective. That's always move number one, no matter what your health challenge is. Okay, something's getting into your blood. We're not going to know what that is until we uh, assess what's happening with foods. Then you're going to want to, if you fast, by the way, your vertigo should be reduced or even be eliminated if you do a fast. How's that for a quick cure? Now, you have to eat eventually, so it's not a permanent cure, but you'll notice relief when you stop eating. Get yourself some Swero V if you want to, uh, if you feel like you can't fast entirely, get a Swero V or do celery juice, which is awesome for fasting. Even celery, what I like to do is sprouts. Do you have a Vitamix or blender, high power blender, Nutribullet, something like that? Yes, I do. Perfect. Go get yourself sprouts. Get zesty sprouts. They're spicy. Throw in some celery, maybe a little tiny piece of beet, and that's all you eat for two days is celery, sprout, beet juice for two days. And then you can get the Swear of V if you want to order that, and that's also good for a cleanse. Your vertigo symptoms will, be, will subside just from that. Now, once you start eating again, you're going to notice that there's certain foods that cause a problem, and you're going to want to eliminate those foods. Then you want to start to patch up the digestive system. Uh, uh, the glucogel caps are wonderful. Probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, wonderful for patching up the digestive system. The Fucoid Z, very important for patching up the digestive system. Use the Mighty 90 and sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Last but most certainly not least, slow, deep breathing can also help you uh, regain your balance and eliminate some of that dizziness. Practice slow, deep breathing. And if you want to do one more thing, salt can help you. 
Celtic sea salt. Very important for the adrenal glands, and you may have a little bit of hypo or low blood pressure, hypotension going on with the vertigo as well, especially if it happens if it gets worse when you stand up. That sometimes has, to, sometimes has to do with the adrenal glands, which also follows a breakdown in the digestive system, so using Celtic sea salt. Tony, there's lots of things you could do. If you do just one, ten, one third of what I just told you, you're going to notice benefits. And there's nothing. I know it's scary, so you went to the ER, but there's nothing your doctor can do except diagnose you with spinning or dizziness. How's that? Can you believe that? They diagnose you with dizziness when you go in for dizziness. Oh, yes, you have dizziness. <laughs> That's what vertigo is. Yes, go ahead. Let me ask ahead. you a quick question. You yes, mentioned sir. mold and fungus. What uh, if that was the cause? It could. It could be. It's unlikely. But it could be. Okay. You got to look for a place where there's mold and fungus. It's un it's possible. Absolutely, that's possible. But it's unlikely. But that's something that you want to maybe consider. I got to move on, brother. Thank you so much for your okay. call, Tony. Good Thank luck with you. everything. Don't forget the deep breathing, though. That's very helpful. All right, Todd. What's going on, Todd in Oregon? Welcome to the bright side. Hey Ben, staying along the lines of your digestive health con conversation. Hey, I have a cousin that has Crohn's disease and bowel inflammation, and he doesn't seem to listen to me. Um, and right now he's going through the typical medical model pr um, protocol, which is the prednisone. The that just breaks my heart. What do you got? What do you got to bring me down I, for here, Todd? What's I'm, going on? I know uh, it brings me down. He doesn't listen to me, and I'm giving it's him your. It's terrible. Advice. It's heartbreaking, yeah. dude. It's so heartbreaking, yeah. Todd. I'm hoping he's going to listen. Crohn's to disease is an life. eating disease. Period. End of story. Eating disease. You've got to change the way you eat and patch up the gut. It's so easy. You can have Crohn's disease is like all diseases. And I said this, I did a talk here last week in Santa Cruz, last weekend in Santa Cruz. I said, there's no disease. There's disease-ing. Put an ing at the end and that turns the noun into a verb. Why is that important? Because if it's a verb, it means it's an action. Verbs are actions. If it's an action, that means we're doing something. It's actually a reaction. So we got to figure out what we're doing. With Crohn's disease, it's an eating disease. you got to change the way you eat. If he fasts, he gets immediate relief. Immediate. Use the glucogel caps, the Fucoid Z, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, digestive enzymes after all meals, apple cider vinegar, fermented foods. These are all incredibly powerful strategies. You marginalize them at your own risk. And Todd, my friend, if, you're, if your cousin, I think you said, or your friend, whoever it was, yeah. If he wants to go to the doctor and be medicalized, more power to him. Jesus loves everybody, even people who go to the doctor and just waste their time and, and take prescription drugs to shorten their lives. God loves everybody. So I don't ever tell anybody what to do if, they're, if they want to go to the medical model. But I'm telling you, there's nothing they can do. On the other hand, there's everything you can do, we can do. We don't need doctors for our health, and there is no relationship between medicine and health. Medicine is a distinct subject. Medicine is important for shutting things down. Occasionally, that's necessary. Medicine is important for stitching things back on. Occasionally, that's necessary. And medicine, of course, is occasionally important for killing bacteria and infectious, infectious microbes. Other than that, medicine is not health. We've got to get that through our heads because it's not serving us. This is why we're the most medicalized culture in the history of the planet and the sickest simultaneously. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. I apologize if I left you on hold. Call back tomorrow. I know I say it all the time, but call back tomorrow. We'll get you first up. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, and my blog, pharmacistben.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now.